start with an idea. You know a writer whose plays are worth producing. Scrape up the money to turn that idea into a small production in a small rented space. Keep scraping till you build the production into a season of that one writer. Build on that till you turn the season into a tradition. Writer after writer after writer. Build on that and watch the tradition become an institution. Now, convince someone to build the institution a lavish new home. Move into multiples, not just one writer at a time, but a panoply of writers, new and old. Fight to keep ticket prices low. <laughs> While you keep their plays coming by twos and threes, for a quarter century of passionate devotion to the theater and to contemporary American playwrights for making the signature theater grow from its tiny beginnings to its current splendor, the judges have voted this year's Obie Award for Sustained Achievement to James Happ. And also to the committee, to the chair, Michael Feingold, who's been a champion of the company since day one. To Adam, Bruce, David, Lear, Liesel, Mimi, Tom, Tommy. You guys did the heavy lifting this season. Your tireless work has made this night possible, so thank you, too. I can't tell you how honored I am to be part of this community. Um, you know, when my wife and I, uh, Joyce, my wife, and I moved to uh, New York City in 86, we had 1200 bucks in our pocket. It was from our wedding. And we didn't know a soul. And we did what you all do, and what we all do is we tried to find a place to live, tried to find a day job or day jobs. We were waiters, temp, carpenter, you name it, messenger. We would audition, Joyce would book. We would hang out, Joyce would book some more. And I would complain about the state of the American theater. You know the drill. Um, so all the while we were looking for just a shot, you know, to become, to come here, to be here, to do what we wanted to do, what we love to do, to be part of this community. And ultimately, it's the magic of this city and the guts of off, off, off Broadway that opened its heart and possibilities to us. From Bob Lyons in the old Ohio Theater to Project, Project Three Ensemble to George and Crystal at Theater for a New City, to all our fellow hungry actors and directors and designers and writers and all who inspired us to just get up every day and take another crack at trying to find a place at home for ourselves. And then there was this tripping my way into the beginnings of Signature, where once again the community rose to that occasion and supported an idea from Margot Harley at the acting company giving us two years of free rehearsal space and opened up her warehouse in Jersey City full of props that we absolutely ravaged, you know, uh, to Jeff Horowitz that opened up his costume stock to us, to Ginny Lelutis and Nella McDaniel at Art New York, uh, helping us to define ourselves, and to Lucille Lortel, who believed in us so much that only after four seasons gave us a body of work award just to encourage us to stick with it. And then there's Austin Pendleton. Austin talked me off the ledge many, many, many times and kept me going. And then the astounding Joe Chaikin, who taught me everything about courage and grace. And then to Romulus Linney. Romulus, who had the daring to take that first dive with us, which, you know, looking now, it, it looks pretty good, you know? But back then, it was a black, you know, very dark void of, I don't know who this kid is and what he's doing, but I'll take the dive with him. You know, and all the writers ever since, and I'm gonna name them, it's important. It's Everett Albee and Annie Baker and Lee Blessing and Martha Clark and Will Eno and Horton Foote, Marie Irene Forness, Athel Fugard, John Guare, Pete Gurney, Tori Hall, Kiara Allegra Hudez, David Henry Wong, Bill Irwin, Adrian Kennedy, Tony Kushner, Lisa Crone, Kenny Lonergan, Chuck Mee, Arthur Miller, the Negro Ensemble Company, a killer company, who created 22, over 200 new works. Sam Shepard, Regina Taylor, Paula Vogel, Naomi Wallace, August Wilson, and the sweet and impossibly lovable Lanford Wilson. They all define who, the what, and the why. But these writers have all been supported and encouraged 
and nurtured by this entire community for years, going back to the days when these same artists and writers defined and created Off-Broadway. And then there are the 2,500 alums and staff at Signature who sweat equity, got it and get it done every day. And many of you are here tonight too. So to me, it's not one company or one artist or one distinction from another. We are all only as good as we are together. And to be here with you is so moving. And particularly to be acknowledged by this tribe is the highest of honors as far as I'm concerned. And on a personal note, I want to thank my terrific partner, Erica, and the executive director at Signature and the entire staff and board. A shout out to my assistant, Molly, who's also here tonight. And by the way, has been looking for another job ever since she started, but I'm choosing to attach that to her own ambitions and not her experience with me. And to my dear, dear colleague and associate artistic director, Beth Whitaker. I want to thank Beth for making so much possible over the 16 years that you've been quietly making me look good. You're a true gem, Beth, and a precious one at that. And to all my colleagues, way, way off Broadway, the New Harmony Project, the Guthrie Theater, the O'Neill Playwrights Conference, these are all places I've been involved with, and my cherished students, staff and faculty at Juilliard, thank you. Thank you for all the lessons you've given me. And finally, when I made a recent announcement about my leaving signature and the health issues I was dealing with, I had an outpouring of support that was so overwhelming, I'm still buoyed and empowered by it. And I want to apologize to those of you in this room and to those who are outside that you haven't heard back from me. And I just want to assure you that your love and encouragement has made a real difference and I will be forever grateful to you all for reminding me that it's ultimately our connection to one another that leads to great work and a great life. And to that point, a few final indulgences to my great friend, Edward. You know what you've made and what you've done. No words are adequate, so thank you is all I've got. And to my incredible Henry and Lily, you knocked me out. Nothing matters more than you, nothing. And to Joyce, my wife, whose Dawn dishing, dishwashing detergent commercial funded the beginnings of Signature. <laughs> and whose abundance of courage and pure inner radiance has been my guiding light. I just want you to stand, she's up there, Joyce, and accept this Sustained Achievement Award because you are simply the definition of it. And thank you, and thanks to all of you.